Why is it different? And I'll, you know, and talk about secular too. What's viewed as a woman? What's viewed as a man? We went to the park yesterday. We met up at a park. We went inside the building to use the bathroom, and there wasn't a sign that said men or women on either bathroom. There was a sign of a picture of a man that was wearing pants and a woman wearing a skirt. That's how you know which bathroom to use. Do you think it would be okay if a woman said, hey, you know what? Hey, I'm wearing pants. I'm going to go use this one because it's got a sign of someone wearing a pants. Now, funny how you still know which one is men's and which one is women's. But I'm the crazy one. Now, a lot of people will say, well, who cares? God doesn't care what I wear. Except we just read Deuteronomy 22.5. You got to do something with that. What does that mean to you? What does it mean? Does God change with the time? I mean, is, that, is this the God that we know? I am the Lord, I change all the time. Is that what the Bible says? Or does it say, I am the Lord, I change not? Does it say, Jesus Christ, I used to be the same for a while until the mid-1900s in the United States of America. Then I just started changing and thought it was all cool for... I, you know, Deuteronomy 22, pfft, who needs that? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Right? The Word of God is our foundation. The Word of God stands true. The Word of God stands sure. Right. Cultures change. Of course they do. They change over time. But what's right? What's right? It's obvious to everyone what men's clothing is and what women's clothing is. Deep down inside, you know it. Deep down inside, you know it. You want to fight against it. You want to wear what you want to wear. Where does that come from? A stubborn and rebellious attitude. That's where it comes from. No one can tell me what to wear. As I mentioned earlier, even the abominable trans community knows. They know. They know what's men's clothing and they know what's what's women's clothing. They don't even want to tell you what a man and a woman is, but they sure do know what the clothing is. <laughs> We're talking about wearing the pants. The Bible actually does talk about men wearing pants. Amen. They don't call them pants. That's what we call them, right? But breeches. Breeches is what the word is, but it's what we commonly refer to as breeches. You know, someone getting too big for their britches? Talking about their pants. There's five mentions of that word in the Bible, five references, the passages, the Old Testament, and it's always referring to men wearing them. 